nigga, but my ego kinda stock it, homie. Nigga, you a hater if you tell me I ain't popping, homie. Is it week one already? Do we got a home game to start the season? Is it a rival? Is it a part of the NFC South division? Yo, yo, what's up, man? T with Twitch Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones loud and clear for the people in the background. We got week one. You know I'm hype. And it's an NFC South rivalry. Playing the Panthers at 1 o'clock at the Ben Stadium next Sunday. We got six days and counting. Football starts Thursday night. Four days and counting. Let's get it. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Keep your boy in the algorithm. Keep your boy keep improving. We got new equipment. We got new lights. We got new mat. We're trying to show out. <laughs> the five said they improve it, so Twisted Toys got to improve as well. We also got new merch. And we got new articles on the website. So if you haven't already, become a subscriber of Twisted Torch TV to get your new merch, new articles. We're going to be doing articles throughout the week to make sure we uh, prep up for the, the new year. So hey, let's talk about them. This is a great matchup for me. The reason why I think this is a great matchup, they drafted Bryce Young, the Panthers did. Um, we're finally bringing out Desmond Ritter. He played the last four games of last year after the Marcus Mariota fiasco. Lord of mercy, I'm glad we got rid of that. <laughs> get him out of here. Get the boot. <laughs> so now we got a person that can lead, um, can make the throws, isn't gun shy like Marcus Mariota. I think that's really will do a much better job. And if you saw him in that week two preseason game versus the Bengals, he hit all cylinders. They had a bunch of issues as far as uh, pre-snap penalties. He was able to overcome a holding call. Um, that, that, that's, that's great as far as a, a QB. And I felt that we got dynamic on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know how y'all feel. But B.J. B.J. Robinson is dynamic in Texas, over 20 touchdowns, knows how to catch the ball out the backfield, can be another flash, as we call it, another Swiss Army knife for the Falcons on the offensive side of the ball. Um, we also got Matt Collins. This guy is jacked up, ready to go and make plays out there as a receiver, too. <laughs> hey, I don't know what he's been doing, but he's been in the gym, and he's breaking tackles. The boy 6'2", breaking tackles. Ugh, we in the gym. Add in Drake London, you bring back Kyle Pitts, who was hurt um, the year before for eight games. So now we have dynamic weapons added with a great offensive line. Remember, we were top 10 in running game. So all we got to do is move that passing game up at least 10 to 15 spots from 30th to 20th or, or 18. That makes the offense change. That makes us less one dimensional. And when we didn't have Kyle Pitts, it showed. Drake London did have over 900 yards. He did have over 70 catches with four touchdowns. But hell, let's be honest, that's with Marcus Mariota. As Desmond Ritter got into the game, he began to get better. So let's look at the matchup. We're going to talk about Falcons offense versus the Panthers defense first. We got to get to the little the meat and potatoes. <laughs> let's get it. Uh, so yeah, the Panthers defense, they do have a good front seven. Um, led by Derrick Brown. The guy knows how to make plays. I keep saying it, a stout D tackle. And knows how to give you pass rush on occasions on that third down. So let's let's watch out for Derrick Brown. Then you add with Burns. Bring Burns in. Burns had over 12 sacks last year. 12.5 to be exact. He knows how to make plays in the backfield. Um, we got to run at him. We got to get him tired, though. We can't make it to where we have to pass the ball in this third and eight, third and nine. He got to stop the run first. And that's how you get Bur uh, Burns uninterested a little bit because he can't rush the passer, which is what he's great at. Um, I think they do have good linebackers. Uh, they do have Shaq. They do have uh, um, number 49. He had seven sacks last year. Over 100 tackles. Both of them did. But I think that's the matchup we want to attack. Running backs, tight ends versus those linebackers. Can they guard? <laughs> if we split Bijan and Cordell Patterson out, what linebacker is going to guard them? Can you guard them consistently? No, I don't think so. Let's be honest. Let's be realistic. Shaq is good at stopping the run. He's not good at guarding one-on-one. -on -one. I don't see that. And with Bijan, Bijan Robinson, the, the guy who got the monster out. No, cancel. Um, so yeah, I think that's the matchup we got to attack. Is the running back? I mean, the running backs on the linebackers, tight ends on linebackers, and potentially a little bit of safety play. They do have Chin. Chin does roam around, makes a lot of great plays. 
But on some occasions he guesses. And can we get him in that wrong part to where he guesses wrong and then we get a 50, 60 yard touchdown? That's possible. Um, one thing I might be worried about is Chen, not Chen, but uh, Horn. Who is that? Who's Horn going to guard? Number eight. Rookie last year made a lot of plays versus us. He had what, two interceptions versus Marcus Mariota last year in that Thursday night debacle. Oh my God, what a mercy. Horn is a playmaker, though, in that back end. Um, who is he going to guard? Is he going to go after Cal Pitts? He has some great matchups versus Cal Pitts with Florida. Is he going to go with Drake London? Drake London is a big body receiver. And if you don't put Horn on him, he is going to make a killing on whoever is guarding Drake London. So I think Horn has to play matchup. I think he'll switch in and out. They may do a little bit of bracketing for Kyle Pitts because Kyle Pitts is still the dynamic weapon, respectfully. I know he's coming back from an injury, but it's MCL. The guys look good all preseason. Not preseason, but training camp. He's making plays. One-handed. Ah, even in the Bengals game. Ah, I'm a jest. Ah, we catch that. We keep going. First down. Ah, move the chains. Um, I like that. I like that matchup clearly. We're going to get more into detail with it on Wednesday. We actually will have a Panthers fan come on the channel. We're going to go back and forth debate about the game. Week one, my homie DC, Panthers fan, die hard. He's done the channel before, so make sure y'all check out him um, with the Panthers Nation. He's dope as well, does articles and everything. He's going to be on the channel, and we're going to talk. And I ain't holding no punches, DC. You hear me? <laughs> go ahead to block these. <laughs> Respectfully. But, uh, yeah, let's, get, let's switch over. Let's go to the um, Panthers offense versus the Falcons defense. As we know, Falcons got a lot of new weapons as far as their defense side of the ball. Galeas Campbell comes in with five sacks from Baltimore. OG, respectfully, OG. Dave Onamala had over five sets, or 4.5 sets for Saints last year. Ryan Neeson comes over, brings his scheme with him. Let's bring Dave Onamala. Let's bring Ellis. Ellis had seven sets as a linebacker. But it looks. <laughs> and he steps in as inside linebacker, and he's looking to help Trey Anderson get to the next level as far as speed, agility. Can we read these plays? Can we dissect these plays and get off? One thing I did like about Ellis, he did say, um, as a linebacker, you have to be in tune with the front seven and the back. You have to know the coverage. You have to know where the, the stunts is for the front. And you have to be in sync with everybody, respectfully. That's the best thing about playing a linebacker. You're in sync with everybody. So if you don't know the play, the play's over. You have to if the linebacker doesn't know where You got to have linebackers in sync at the same time. And with Ellis bringing in that scheme. And one thing I did like the wrinkle about him, Ellis did say, we're going to also be blitzing as linebackers. So on third downs, you might see Ellis slide to that DN spot in that 3-4 on that big nickel. Slide over into that DN. You rush the passer. We have Troy back there. Then we bring a safety down. Maybe Hawkins. Maybe uh, him. <laughs> you made a lot of plays in preseason. You show you can play with the pros. So you're making some snaps in that big nickel. Man. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, yeah. Bryce Young, he comes in. He does have some new weapons as well. They did get Miles Sanders from the Eagles. Phenomenal player, um, had over 1,100 yards, but that's with the Eagles, respectfully. The Eagles have a top 10 line, respectfully. The Eagles have a top 10 QB, and they have top 10 receivers. It's a big difference from the Eagles to the Panthers. The Panthers come in, bad O-line play, give up a lot of sacks. Bryce Young is a small guy, so I want to see if he's going to be able to withstand these pressures throughout the game. Can you take on Grady Jarrett and um, Gladys Campbell landing on you? Hurting that shoulder, I'm just saying. I feel like he can because he played at Alabama. He's played SEC impactful players, so I look forward to seeing him play. They did have some weapons um, they added on the receiver order because we didn't know nobody on the receiving team, let's be honest. They, they traded DJ Moore, their best asset, to the Bears to get Bryce Young. So who do you bring in? What are the weapons to bring in for the Panthers that we have to worry about? Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen had over uh, 700 yards. This guy knows how to run routes consistently. He knows how to get open. Third down, look for him. They brought in DJ Chark. Uh, a big body receiver knows how to make plays, um, contested plays, I must say, and has a little bit of speed on him. Is he going to play, though? I mean, I heard he's been having injuries chalky, so we'll see as the week comes along is he'll be able to play. I hope he plays. I want to see everybody out there as far as the Panthers. So Adam Thielen, Chalk, um, they still have a nice tight end, number 80, who knows how to make plays. Two dynamic backs, Sanders, Chubb, Chubber, Chubber knows how to get those tough yards, guys. But can the line block? Can you block Brother Dupree, who comes in from Tennessee with four sacks? Can you block David Undermatter? Can you block Ellis? Ellis has seven sacks. We're going to bring the blitzes, guys. So if you haven't known Ryan Neeson's scheme, he blames blitzes. The Saints blitz a lot, especially on the consistent downs. He's going to bring linebackers. He's going to bring safeties down and blitz them. And he's going to blitz slot corners. I want to see how Bryce Young takes on all that pressure. This is NFL pressures. This is uh, scheme pressures. Can he take on those scheme pressures? Can he see, oh, he's coming. Take on that block. Hey. Line, switch down. Take on this block. Let me get over to the open read. 
Can we see that? I want to see that from both QBs, actually. I think it's going to be a fair, fun game. A fun game, honestly. Division, I will be there in attendance. I already got my tickets, so we're going to be out there ready to turn up with the, with the fans, with the supporters, and with the team. Let's turn up. Let's turn up. <laughs> well, yeah, man, uh, we're going to get more into it as the week comes along. just want to give you all a little camera video. We got that energy that y'all been waiting for for week one. We're going to talk more about it, but this is the preview. I'm looking forward to seeing these matchups. I'm looking forward to seeing how the offense um, takes on the Panthers' defense, their front seven, and how the Falcons' defense takes on this run game, takes on the single cover, single high. And we cannot forget, we did add this base into the, the arsenal. Top three safety, my add, free safety. So that will um, decrease some of those big plays we gave up last year. And you bring in A.J. Terrell to, to finally have running mates with Jeff Okuda. I don't know if Okuda will play. He's still out. But um, I'm liking how D. Alfred's looking at that slot corner. Um, Matt, Mike Hughes, Wilson, he's a first-round pick. Can he take on? And they're going to also have big body cornerback out there for Chop a couple of times to double cover him. So I'm looking forward to these matchups. I'm looking forward to seeing my defense pursuit, pursuit to the ball, get to the football, and um, call out them reads, man. As long as we got to call them reads out. Get these people set so they're ready to go. Um, one thing Trey Anderson did state, they were um, to cause the calls out perfect to where he don't have to really worry too much. And I'm just thinking. I'm not even thinking. I'm just moving. Quick speed. Ah, get out of line. Let's go make that play. Appreciate y'all joining me, man. Again, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep your boy in the algorithm. If you haven't already, check out that website, Twisted Torch TV. The link will be in the um, bio. Um, you already know how to get that, though. Jumpman T, Twisted Torch TV. <laughs> Peace.